Common question when going to install a new smart thermostat, such as this one, which can be installed with or without a C wire, is how do I know if I have a C wire? And today we're going to show you just that. Even though we're not even going to be disconnecting any wiring in this video, we're also going to go ahead and just go ahead and cut the power for our AC and our furnace for both our heating and cooling systems. Just to be on the safe side, I just like to have this habit of anytime you're messing with it, to go ahead and turn all the all of those off any of those that control any of your heating or cooling circuits uh, make sure you shut those off now so it's fairly simple to tell if you have a c-wire or not um firstly the purpose of a c-wire is basically for the newer thermostats it either has a backlit display or has wi-fi functionality something that requires a continuous uh flow of electricity um that these older thermostats didn't really need a C wire. Um, you know, all they have is this little calculator style display, which can run on two AAA batteries for quite a while. But we're gonna go ahead and just pop the top off or pop the cover off your thermostat wherever you do that. But mine has a little thing down here, and then we're have access to all the wiring. And so here we can see this system. I can see we have at least a four wire system. Most likely, there is gonna be a fifth wire tucked into the wall. I'm thinking that's going to be our C wire most likely because as you can see we have a green, a yellow, a white, and a red. Um, we only have one red wire. This red in the middle that is shaped like a U that is just a jumper wire. Um, so some either you'll use a separate wire for the heating and the cooling for the call for the heating and the cooling and some use a jumper. So this is a jumper setup so that's just something to note when going to do your smart thermostat as a lot of them have some kind of built-in jumper system so just make sure you read through the owner's manual. But we're going to go ahead and unscrew this thermostat from the wall. We're not even going to disconnect the wires right now. We're just trying to see if there's a C wire back there. So once you get it out of the wall, if you just give it a little bit of a tug, and we're just going to shift the camera around here. As you can see, we do have all the wires that are going in that are connected. And then we also have this blue wire that is coiled around and it is not used. So that is in fact going to be used as our C wire on our new thermostat. Now do keep in mind if the current thermostat you have is not utilizing a C wire and it's coiled up in the wall like that, it is most likely not connected at your furnace end as well. So you'll have to go into the furnace or the heat exchanger compartment and um, go ahead and hook that up in order to use your C wire. I do have a video showing how to do that. If you want to click the info card up in the top right screen there, or you can go ahead and look in the descriptions or the comments below. I'll post the links all over so it's easy to find. If you don't have a C wire, there are a few solutions you can use. Some smart thermostats, such as the one I'm using, do have a little extender wire kit like this that you would hook up in the furnace compartment to the control board. And uh, we're not going to get into that since we do have a um, C wire but that is one option. Another option is you can also possibly steal the G wire, which is the green, typically green, um, if they use the correct wiring color coding. You never want to assume that they use the correct one. You always want to make sure go by the terminal and uh, if you can trace it back to the furnace. But um, you can sometimes steal the G wire um, if you don't have a C wire, that's kind of just a little bit of a quick fix though, because if you use the G wire as a C wire, it will work. It will power the thermostat, but you will not be able to turn on the fan by itself. So if you want to turn on the fan without turning on the heating or cooling, you won't be able to do that if you steal the G wire. But I do have a video on that as well that you can see up in the info cards up there in the top right, or also down in the description or comments down below. But um, yeah, go ahead and check out the video on how to connect the unused C wire and you're on your way to doing the smart thermostat. I also have a little bit of a tips and tricks guide on installing thermostats um, if you need any help with the wiring or anything like that. Um, make sure you guys are safe out there. As always, if you feel uneasy about any of this, don't do it yourself. Pay somebody to do it. Um, make sure you're always cutting off the electricity at your circuit breaker or your main. And uh, be safe, guys. Hope you learned something. Um, until next time, I will see you later. Check out some of the other videos. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Peace out, guys.